Hello everybody, Mermaid JC here. Welcome back to my channel and our little crazy adventures of doing things because we're bored. I have been collecting glass jars now from, you know, food products. I think this one was a pickle jar. This one was a sauce jar. And I need a new makeup brush holder. So last year I got this really cute mermaid holographic kind of flippy sparkly sequency mermaid tail bag and that's what I've been holding my brushes in but um, and, and it was doing fine for a while like it's not broken or anything it's still functional and everything but I can't really see my brushes uh, very well and I have to I'm always like dumping them out and stuff like that and the inside of the bag gets a little bit gross so I wanted to sort of switch to a jar and uh, I'm going to be decorating that today. I do have an inspiration for this video and I will be linking her channel down below. She did a whole bunch of more complicated stuff because she's actually an artist and she used um, uh, Elmer's school glue and like um, putty, quick dry putty, which is really expensive and I don't have. What I do have is I have hot glue sticks. And a hot glue gun. So I'm going to try to mimic what she did sort of, kind of, take inspiration from her with hot glue. Because um, I think that it'll, it'll be a little bit easier. And most people have hot glue in their house. So, yes. I also have, um, you know, I have uh, pet pee pads to protect my carpet. And I have acrylic paints here. I chose these colors and gloves because I don't have any more paintbrushes and we can't go out and buy them. So I'm gonna use my gloves and I'm basically gonna like finger paint my jar. Maybe. Let's get started. Okay, I've just moved the camera a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. And for someone who did ask me last time, I am using the AdTech, sorry backwards, but it's an AdTech craft and DIY high temp glue gun. Someone did send me uh, a private message and asked me what I'm using. And I do have three Arters, Artists Loft uh, acrylic paints here. One has like shimmer and the other two are matte. Uh, I do have a little bit of protection down on my little surface. So my goal is to sort of make this a little bit under the sea looking because I do have my beautiful mermaid sequence bag and I want to keep with the mermaid theme because all my brushes are mermaid. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw some like squigglies on here with the hot glue and maybe some balls and then when it looks the way that I want it to look, I'm going to paint it. So let's start with our design first. Our first draw, our first jar should be dry. So how do I want to paint this? I think I want to do. And again, this part's gonna be messy because, like I said, I don't have a brush.
Okay, so I've been letting the jar sit and dry now for about an hour and I brought you guys back in because I want the jar to still be a little bit tacky. It's still a little bit wet, which is what I want. I'm gonna be adding some mica powder, which I have in my house. You can um, let it dry completely and then maybe paint if you have, if you're using paint, but I'm gonna add mica powder just to the bubbles. Oh my gosh, I like the way that these look. They're kind of crazy and sort of like whimsical and messy and I love them. They're so charming to me. This might not be everybody's cup of tea, I understand that. Um, a lot of people are like neater things. And again, I'm gonna link the video in the description of where I got this inspiration from. And she does much neater, more artistic look than this, but this is just for the everyday person. You could imagine having a whole wall of these and it would just look, you know, if you did this with like paper mache or maybe tissue paper, you could get the sun to come through them. Oh my goodness. You can use these little planters, like I just, I, I love them. I wonder what they would look like if you put candles in them. Maybe you could put like twinkle lights inside. That's what the uh, original video did is she, she used like a bottle and then she shoved battery operated twinkle lights inside them and they were quite pretty. That's the end of my little DIY silly crafty video guys. If you like this kind of content, you can leave me a thumbs up and a comment and let me know. It's kind of sort of you know, I'm just sort of mermaidifying everything around the house and it's kind of driving my husband crazy a little bit. Uh, hopefully swimming content will be coming again soon. Uh, I do have access to a warmed uh, outdoor swimming area, so I'll be able to get into my uh, fin fun tail shortly and get some swimming content for you guys up on this channel because that's what this channel is all about. Mermaid content and stay happy. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys again in my next one. Bye-bye.